Hello, future scientists! In Unit 6 sound, you know that we hear when the sound enters our ears. In this lesson, we will discuss and talk about how to look after your ears. These are the keywords. Deaf means not able to hear at all. Hearing aid is a piece of equipment, okay, a small device that is worn behind or in the ear to help someone to hear better. Watch these videos about the importance of your ears and how to look after your ears. For our starter activity, Doctor, I am sick. What is a doctor doing with a boy? Is anyone here has ever been to the doctor about your ears? Humans have different levels of hearing. Some hear very well, while others are born with limited or no hearing, meaning deafness, okay, which is permanent. Temporary hearing loss can be caused by a buildup wax or a hearing infection or by an object getting stuck in the ear canal. Usually, cotton buds are often the cause. Some people experience damage to their hearing because of disease, an accident, or being close to a loud noise. The loss of hearing affects people in different ways. For some, it means it is less easy to communicate with others. They can feel alone and they cannot rely on their hearing to keep them safe, such as when crossing a road. So how do you take care of your ears? You must take care of your ears. If you hurt the inside of your ears, you could go deaf. Being deaf means that you cannot hear, not able to hear at all. Now look at this. This is an otolaryngologist. As a doctor, often called an ear, nose, and throat doctor. In short, ENT. Okay, so this doctor is trained to use instruments to carefully check ears without causing damage. This is an otoscope or oroscope, okay, an instrument which sees inside the ear canal. This instrument uh, is safe to use for our ears. Healthcare providers use otoscopes to screen for illness during regular checkups and also to investigate ear symptoms. Why do we need to look after our ears? As well as what it might feel like to lose some or all of the hearing. Make sure you do not listen to very loud sounds. Keep your ears clean. Use cotton swabs only on the outside of your ear or better yet, Try wiping the area with a warm, damp washcloth and never to put anything unsafe in your ears. There is a very useful saying in relation to looking after your ears. You shouldn't put anything smaller than your elbow in your ear. This is quite true. It is dangerous to put things into the ear. Even a cotton earbud can do damage. Also cover your ears when they are cold. Never make loud noises next to someone's ear. Shouting is not good at all. And more ways to take care of your ears is by keeping them clear. Wash them when you wash your face. Again, do not poke inside the ear with anything. And most importantly, if your ears hurt, tell your parents or carers who will take you to see the doctor. Did you know that some people cannot hear very well? Hearing aids can help. It is a small device. It is worn behind or in the ear to help someone to hear better. And some people also use hand signs to communicate with other people. This is called sign language. Complete your workbook, page 74, looking after your ears. Draw a picture in the bags under each sentence to show some ways to look after your ears. Now challenge yourself. Imagine hearing no sounds at all. What would it be like not to be able to hear? Which sounds would you miss? And how can you speak to a deaf person? Future scientists, we would be glad to hear your thoughts. Okay, thank you and well done.